For the cheapest Ultimate Team coins, visit NHLCoinMarket.com. Cheap, fast, reliable. Use code XTECH for 5% off your order. Alright guys, what is going on and welcome back to our legend Winnipeg B AGM mode here. We're currently 31, 13, and 5. We're absolutely tearing it up right now. James Reimer's playing great. Suddenly all of the Reimer haters are gone. No one is telling me to go get a number one goalie anymore. They're completely gone. Reimer is shutting up the critics, proving people wrong, and deservingly so, I mean, second in save percentage, Second in goals against average and number one in wins. Rhyme time, baby. He is killing it right now. Uh, we are currently number one, or sorry, we're number two in the NHL, one point behind Buffalo, and we just beat them one nothing. So we can contend with the best teams in the NHL. So I'm not concerned about that. We're doing great right now. We're going to get a couple months here. We might even do the rest of the year in this uh, episode. Might be a long one, uh, but there's a couple comments that I want to go over. The first one here is uh, this guy. His name's Mike Hunt. I'm not going to say it fast. If you can say it fast in your head and you can realize what it what it uh, what he portrays to want you to say. But uh, Mr. Mike, he says Tech, can you check out a defensive prospect named Robert Hag on the Philadelphia Flyers? Because I started AGM mode and he was a 77 4 green star at 19 years old. And I was uh, I've previously scouted this out and we might actually trade for this guy. Uh, because I was looking at map my lines just before I was about to record and we have Paul Postma he's not even playing in the NHL uh, he's still on our roster and he's getting paid 1.2 million I mean yeah he would be good for some uh, you know for some depth if there was an injury but we have other defense and we can bring up D'Angelo or we can bring up someone else uh, maybe this Robert Hag guy I was looking at him but we were paying Paul Postma to basically not play in the NHL he's not going to play in the minors. That's going to take a uh, that's going to take a spot away from our uh, from one of our players that are going to be able to progress. So I want to get rid of Paul Postma right now. And this Robert Hag guy is actually perfect. It kind of just worked out really really nicely. Uh, unfortunately for us, he's not a 77 four green star. He's a 76 overall 21 year old three gold star. He's uh, actually playing in the NHL this year. He's uh, he's got no points minus 19. So things are not working out in Philadelphia. Philadelphia whatsoever. They need a replacement uh, because you can't have a 76 overall playing in the NHL. Uh, that's just not going to work out. So, Hag uh, for Postma. I think that'll go through as it is. If that doesn't go through, oh, well, they do want Postma. And, you know, this is just kind of a trade that just kind of I thought would possibly work out for both teams because I was looking at our defensive prospects here and we do need a couple more because basically right now we have Malosh coming up and right Right now, it's basically just D'Angelo and Thomas are our only two decent uh, players, or sorry, defensemen in our HL team. So if we can get Hag and uh, Philadelphia, it would be stupid not to get this guy. They need a top six defenseman in a really bad way, and we need some more prospect defensemen. So will this go through? Wow, really? That will not go through? How are you that dumb? You really won't make that trade? How about a fourth and a fifth for Robert Hag? There you go. It did go through. Thank you for that one. I had to add a little bit of draft picks there, but they got what they needed, and I got what I wanted in another defensive prospect. So now on to the nicknames for Josh Morris. You have kind Kind of, kind of labeled it down to two, and you guys can, uh, you guys can vote on this. I like one more than the other. I'm not going to tell you which one it is, but there was so many really good suggestions. Let's get some uh, simulation done here while I talk about them. But the first one is from Mr. Fatfoot, I think his name is, and he says Big Mo for Josh Morris. That's a pretty cool one. And then Sky High, he says J Money. Uh, I like one more than the other. I'm not going to tell you which, but you guys can vote. Just comment, say J Money. So there's going to be two comments on this video. One's going to be uh, I'm just going to comment and say J Money, and then the other one I'm going to say J Mo. The one with the most thumbs up is going to be the nickname for Josh Morris. Yeah, it's going to stick throughout the whole GM mode. So look for that comment. It'll be probably at the top of the comment. 
comments section. Vote which one you like. That'll be the nickname for Josh Morris. So we got a game against the Calgary Flames here. Let's go. First period. One to nothing. Jumbo Joe Thornton on the power play. That's why we got him. Power play specialist. Period number two. Two nothing. Sissons. That a boy. The uh, the third liner that we went ahead and picked up uh, from Nashville. Ooh, Johnny Goudreau breaks the shutout on a power play goal. We had him in Toronto. Scored a couple Stanley Cup winning goals for us, but he's not going to get a late one. We're going to hold on. Rhyme time is going to make 26 stops for the nice two points. Let's just start padding our stats here, guys. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do really quick is actually put Hag on our uh, on our HL teams. I don't want him to play in the NHL, obviously. Uh, so quickly, where is he? He's probably up on the squad. Got to chuck him down. Philadelphia got what they wanted, and I got what I wanted. Another defensive prospect, so that's awesome. Uh, there we go. I got to fix this this all up. Point Odell Bjorkstrand. Looking good. Looking good. Defensively now is going to be Hag uh, D'Angelo. So that kind of strengthens up our our HL team. I think they're doing pretty good actually. Uh, yeah, they're 34-9-2. Jesus Christ. They are killing it right now. Uh, let's go ahead and get our revenge against the Minnesota Wild. They knocked us out of the playoffs last year with Manny Fernandez. He was just a monster. We've won quite a few games in a row here. I think four or five games in a row. Uh, that's kind of nice up against Crosby, Lemieux, and Malkin. How do they not have a stacked record with three of the best players in the whole game? And we win. There you go. Huge victory there. Uh, big game again. Ooh, Ottawa takes it 2-1. I don't know if that was an overtime loss or not. Uh, let's go against the Bruins here. They have a pretty good record. The Big Bad Bruins. We lose again 3-2. That one was in uh, regulation for sure. That's right, though. We've won a couple in a row. Big f big 6-5 to five victory there against the uh, against Colorado Avalanche. Up against uh, the New York Rangers here. Morrissey leading the way with 18 goals. Uh, Joe Thornton, 38 helpers. Ooh, we lose 3-1 there. Uh, we will go to the trade deadline, and then this video, I do want to have a look at, you know, at the possibility of trading Andre Palat. Not saying we're going to, but I would like to explore the, uh, I'd like to explore the options. I will put him on the trading block. And we're gonna go ahead and start. Uh, we're gonna start Eric Comrie against the Philadelphia Flyers here. Hopefully, Paul Poesma doesn't come and score a hat trick or something crazy like that. But we will start Eric Comrie here, who hasn't got that many starts. He's got eight starts. I mean, with James Rammer playing as well as he has, I'm okay with uh, Eric Comrie getting the odd start here and there. But first period, zero zero. There you go. Standing on his head, the kid Comrie making 15 stops in the first period. Period number two. Oh, there you go. Big jumbo Joe Thornton. Another one on the power play. That's why we have him. Power play specialist. Uh, 13, 11, 10. Come on, boys. Hold it down. Hold it down. Power play. Get an insurance marker. Are you kidding me? Wow. What a performance. A 32 save shutout for Eric Comrie. This kid is the real deal. Against the Flyers, that is awesome. Thank you for Hag. And thank you for the 2 nothing shutout there. That is awesome. What a performance. He's got to get the start against the Capitals. He's got to get the start there. He shut down Eric Lindros. Now he's got to shut down Peter Bondra and Alexander Ovechkin. That is not going to be easy. As well as Nicholas Backstrom. Let's go. First period. 1-0. Timu. Second period. 2-0. Big Jumbo Joe. That's three straight goals. He's been killing it lately. Palat gets another one. On oh, Forsberg. You get a goal. And you get a goal. And you get a goal. Uh, Forsberg gets one there. Makes it 4 to nothing. Five nothing. Timu Solani. Are you kidding me? Eric Comrie. Wow. Back to back shutouts. Makes 32 saves last night. Comes back. Makes 27 saves in another shutout performance. Back to back shutouts for the kid. Holy shit, Comrie. What a beast. What a monster. Eric Com. Oh, Reimer got it? I definitely started Comrie. Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you going to take that away from him? Oh man, that's no fun. All right, well, back to back shutouts. Reimer gets one, Comrie gets the other. Oh man, I thought we we're gonna thought we we're gonna give Comrie the start there. I like having auto goalie rotations on, but it kind of makes it a pain like there because I thought Comrie got the back to back. But I will put him out. I will put him up against Florida here. I will make sure he gets the start. Uh, Comrie, there you go. They probably put him right back in there. Come on, another big game here against the Florida Panthers. And then we'll get a bunch of. 
simulation done. First period. There you go. Philip Forsberg on Jonas Gustafsson. Period number two. Oh, Timo Solani. Okay. All right. Oh, no. I was going to say maybe we can hold it down there. But the legend, Scott Mellenby, makes it two to one. Mark Shifley makes it three to one on the power play. And another strong performance from the kid making 27 saves for another victory. We are just rolling here, boys. We're killing it right now. 3-1 uh, to one there against Florida. That's awesome. We are doing excellent right now. So, uh, let's go to the trade deadline here. I will put Palat on the block like I mentioned. I'll go over a quick little uh, review of the team where I want, uh, what I would like to happen, but I will take a look at uh, what can happen with the, uh, with the possibility of trading Andre Palat. Again, I don't know who I haven't pre-scouted this. I really have no idea where he's going to go, if anything at all, but he's not really fitting in. Uh, I, I would like a better second line. I don't know who yet. Like I said, we're going to have to do some scouting for sure, uh, but I will check out the lines after this, uh, after the Rangers game here. So, Let's go forwards in six weeks. There you go. Uh, the Rangers game. We got uh, two tough opponents here back to back. Oh, losing some games, boys. Losing some games here. Come on. We think we lost three or four in a row. Okay, so we lost uh, two in a row, I guess, and then and then we won one. So that's totally fine. Uh, a couple of moves right now. We got uh, Buffalo acquired Leguan for a second and a prospect, and Toronto acquired a second and a prospect from Mike Santarelli from uh, to to uh, Detroit. And then uh, where are we? here. We're 83 points, so we're tied for Buffalo. We're right there. We're neck and neck with them. Uh, goals against average, sorry, goals, we are not up there at all, but we got Nash, Bondra, Hall, Kessel, Parise, Stamkos, Vanek. Uh, those are your uh, top goals. Goal scores, assists, Gretzky's just killing it. We are up there for assists. We're number seven, so we're getting lots of assists. Uh, Stamkos, 80 points. Kessel, 80 points. Holy shit. There is a lot of points going around right now. James Rammer, number one in wins. Kind of fell off a little bit for save percentage and goals against average. Yeah, goals against average, he really fell off the map. Uh, he's now fourth and wins. He's now, or sorry, uh, save percentage, he's number five. So I do want to check out uh, how everything is doing here. Uh, stats. We'll go to the player stats and then check it out. How time are we at here? Uh, we're already at 13 minutes, so this might be a long one or I might make it into two videos. I might actually make it into, into, into two videos. I might actually stop after the trade deadline and then we will see where we are at. So, uh, we got Joe Thornton here leading the way. Still, the old guy is getting it done. 37 years old, and he's got 54 points in 64 games. Team Mussolini, 52 points. I'm waiting for him just to break out, man. Like, have a 100-point year. I, I guess once uh, Forsberg starts to progress and Mark Shifley, we, we will see Solani's point totals go up. Uh, Forsberg, 44 points. Shifley, 44. You know what? Palas not even doing that that bad at all. He's a, he's a decent second liner. I don't think there's really any need to trade Palat. Um, I mean, we'll, we'll take offers, but he's leading the second line. You know, there's really no... I mean, him and Joe Thornton, they seem to be playing great together. I mean, you put me with Joe Thornton, I'd probably put 25 goals up, but uh, I think that Palat, I'm just waiting for him to grow. You He's got the four stars. We're playing him correctly. I'm just kind of waiting for him to jump up. Uh, we will take a look at our options here, though. Uh, Josh Morrissey, 37 points, 20 goals. There you go. Matches point total for last year already. Um, Gallagher, 35 points on the third line. That's great. Tyler Myers, 33. Truba, 33. Truba's at 89. He's so, just a monster. Uh, all these guys off to Watson, Sissons, Alexiak. All right. So, goalies, rookie goalies, 8-4. and four for Eric Comrie, rookie skaters, obviously Sissons, and then goaltender uh, Eric Comrie, 2.09, and then James Reimer. He is shutting the critics up. Three shutouts for James Reimer. That is awesome. So I guess we'll go through the through the trade deadline here. If we do make any moves, uh, I don't really know what they're going to be for, but I will look it up. Uh, I don't want to put the first round on. I don't want to get rid of Joe Thornton quite yet. Uh, who else we have here? I do want to put... Um, 
I do want to put, where is he here? Uh, Andre Palat on the trading block. He should progress. I don't understand why he's not progressing. That's so dumb. Uh, obviously not going to put him on there. Uh, clear you off. I guess we'll just put Palat straight up. Uh, there's no real players that I want to get rid of. I'd like to make the second line a little bit stronger. But other than that, I think we're pretty much completely set. So I'll put Palat on there. And then we will see what our options are going forward. Uh, but I would like another sniper. See, oh, sorry. Gallagher's on the second line, not the third line. What am I talking about? I mean, this line's playing great. I would like there to be a sniper to play alongside Joe Thornton. I think if we are going to move him, it's going to be for a sniper. Uh, he's got 42 points, though. I mean, that's not even that terrible. Uh, there's a comment to say to put Philip Forsberg on the right wing, but I made Timo Solani a right winger. So if he's already 93, will he go down? I do want... Forsberg to progress in his correct position so I might just put Forsberg there and then put Solani there because he's already bonafide he's 90 plus he's a beast so we'll check him out uh Palat I do want a second line sniper so you know what let's use our trading block here uh second line sniper I'll go put that on our all right I'll we'll check our wants here so I want a forward obviously I would like a sniper uh, can I go to sniper oh I can just go second line forward so I want him to be 22 years old at the minimum and the maximum be th be like 30 years old uh, I guess three and a half star potential let's see what's out there I guess I can have a look someone in our price range like someone like uh, I don't want to go get Johnny Goudreau all, all over again we can think about getting Jonathan Huberdeau he's not a sniper though he's more of a playmaker I want a sniper really really badly um uh, Bo Bennett so I want someone around this area like would we trade for Bo Bennett uh I haven't seen him get really fantastic he's not having a great year Ty Ratty he's 85 he's only got 12 points this year uh Kadri Tara Vinen, he's a he's a uh centerman though Yakupov no thank you Silverberg no uh, there's really not much out there to Foley would he not be that bad he is definitely a sniper uh I mean, Lindholm, these guys are kind of out of our price range. But I will take a look here at JT Miller, because this guy, there's always a comment from Brandon. He always says, Brandon Barfield, he always comments. And he says, go after JT Miller, go after him. So we will go ahead and look at him. He's from the Rangers. I'm pretty sure he's a centerman, though. If he's a centerman, I'm not even going to look at him because I'm not going to play him in his incorrect position. Uh, but then again, then again, oh man, this is making me making me kind of confused here, because then again, we could play, see, JT Miller, he's a third line checker. He's not really a sniper, right? It's not really what we're looking for. That's the guy he's telling me to get, right? Yeah, JT Miller. Uh, he's not even that fantastic. It's this guy's being like, oh, he gets like 88 overall and pumps out the points. So I don't know, man. JT Miller, plus he's like a centerman. I don't think that trade would really work out too well. Plus, you know, having um, JT... Is that him? That's got to be him. Uh, I, th I believe that's him. I can't be anyone else. JT Miller. Uh, we're not going to go for JT Miller. Because, you know, having um, having Joe Thornton going to be out in the next couple of years, getting another uh, young centerman to come up wouldn't be the worst thing. But I do want to check out here what players are being given away. Why are you trading Ovechkin? Why the fuck are you trading Alexander Ovechkin? Are you kidding me? Why is he on the block? Why are you on the... We could probably get Ovi, to be honest with you. Give him a bunch of prospects, but I'm not going to go ahead and pick up OV. I'll go ahead and have a look here at what players are being given away, see if we can swing a deal, maybe get a couple more prospects in our system here, but uh, I don't really know the all-star, the fucking all-star. I don't know if really we're going to be making any moves, if any, right now, so let me just have a quick look. Henrik Zetterberg, that's not the worst idea. He's 36, he's definitely, definitely can score goals. Uh, he's got one year left on a six million dollar contract. I think his trade value is too high, plus yeah, I don't really want to go after Zetterberg. Well, I mean, we do have players coming up. No, we're not going to do that. That's too crazy. Not going after Henrik Zetterberg. Honestly, I don't think we're going to make a move at all. I may get a few more prospects here because I can see there's a couple of decent prospects wanting to be given away. So I might make a couple prospect moves, but I don't think we're going to trade Andre Palat right now. You know what? 
there's going to be no moves we're going to make here. Kind of a, uh, oh, huge move actually. New York Rangers acquired Duncan Keith for a first and, uh, sorry, for a, a first and two prospects. Holy shit, huge deal there. Uh, wow, that's a massive trade. Duncan Keith getting out of uh, Chicago, going to another original six team. Wow. Uh, yeah, we're going to make no moves here. There's nothing that we could really do uh, that would, you know, better our team right now. So I'm not going to make any moves. Uh, a couple more trades here. Uh, Nash, or sorry, Vancouver acquired a, I guess, a prospect for Chris Phillips and a third. It's kind of a good, uh, it's kind of a, a good move for my Vancouver Canucks. But yeah, I'm happy with the team right now. Trading Palat is not the way to do it. More trades. Uh, Enroth for Yanni Pitkinen. All right. Pretty busy trade deadline. Uh, that's going to be it though, guys. I will. Oh, more trades. Holy shit. Uh, Wisniewski went from, what did what, 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 what Wisniewski trade for? A third? A third and a prospect? Really? That's it? Uh, wow. Okay. Torrey Mitchell's on waivers. Bunch of stuff going on. Busy, busy trade deadline. Uh, a third for Damian Bruner going to the Rangers. So nothing going to go on here from our standpoint. We're going to stay still. I'm confident in our team and I will see you guys in the next episode when we get the rest of the regular season done and we do a little uh, wrap up here. It might not be the longest video, but I do want to go in depth on some stats and then I will see you guys in the next one.